us what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel thank you guys for clicking on yet another video i hope this video is very informational to you guys so without further ado let's jump right into it all right guys as you've seen by the title and the thumbnail you guys know what today's video is going to be about how to make the right chamber and why you need a chamber what the chamber is actually for okay so you guys always see when people are doing karate they always have their hands right here okay and they're always doing this and that and this and that and that and this and that and this and so on and so forth okay right here it's called your chamber you always want to start your technique from your chamber so the chamber is really the center all right and that's that's basically the center of gravity for everybody all right i'm just gonna go off the top of my head right here right so you always want to start here because that's the center of gravity okay you rotate when you punch, you rotate your hips and you throw. A lot of boxers start from here, rotate and throw. But karate, you start from here, rotate and throw, right? Chamber is a great base for your punches, for your techniques, for your blocks, everything. It's, it's a great base to start off with, right? But what people don't know is behind the chamber is also another technique, which is that. You see that elbow? That is also a technique. Somebody grabs you from behind, you step, boom. Grab you from behind, you step, boom. Somebody grabs you from behind, you step, boom. You need that chamber to be strong at all times. So if you're in your dojo or you're at home and you're practicing, don't just let the punch be strong. Make sure the chamber is strong as well. Watch. Strong chamber as well as the punch because this is the base where you start off this is also an attack if somebody's behind you you will attack them also after you finish with a technique boom you could punch you could block crap you want to step in and boom watch watch somebody's in front of you okay say somebody's in front of you this person is in front of you they're gonna punch you i'm gonna block Boom, outside body block. I didn't teach you guys this block yet, but I will soon. Outside body block. This is their arm. I'm blocking, now I'm grabbing their arm. After I block, I'm grabbing. Next, you see the hand comes in the chamber, that's automatic, but say the hand ain't come in the chamber. Say you block like so, like this, right? Grab, block, boom, boom, and you grab, right? Boom, block, block, and grab. This is protecting the face. You protect the face, you're blocking and now you're grabbing. Now what you're doing next, you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna step up, you're grabbing that hand, don't let go. Remember the chamber, this hand is free still. All right, boom, step up. All you're doing now is don't let go of this arm. You're gonna put this arm on top of the shoulder, right? And all you're doing is stepping up, boom. Chamber to the ribs, elbow to the ribs, remember you're still grabbing that arm. You can either break, take a knee in, Throw them over your shoulder, okay? That's the technique right there. Chamber is not only your base when you're doing your technique, it is also a strike. So for those of you that did not know that the chamber was a strike, you know, this is why we do it all the time in karate. You're striking somebody behind you. All of this, you see all of this? That's not what we're doing. We're not just doing that. We're striking as well, okay? So yeah, this is what the chamber is really about. Hopefully your, your perception of karate or this technique right here is very different. It may look very basic, but it's very dangerous. It's very, you know, powerful, okay? Have a strong chamber and everything will be strong. You have a strong chamber, your punch will come out strong. You hit somebody from behind, you could break the, the hip bone, you could break their ribs, whatever, okay? Let's do that technique one more time. Somebody's in front of you, boom, boom, grab, step, chamber, break, Sweep, whatever, throw them down, whatever you want to do. All right, go practice that at home. All right, guys, that's it for this video, man. I'm a little tired because, you know, y'all had me doing these techniques and jump. I don't want to be doing these techniques for y'all, man, but, you know, I got, I got to teach y'all how to protect yourselves, all right? So today we learned about the chamber, and in the future we're going to put all these techniques together. I'm going to start teaching you guys katas. I'm going to start teaching you guys fight, fight moves and everything. I'm going to start teach, uh, teaching you guys kicks, jump spinning kicks, whatever, you know, them type of stuff, but... That's, that's for the future future. I gotta teach y'all the basics first, all right? But thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button for your boy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Peace.